everyone has the right to dream even if you are a girl growing up in a state where girls don't even have the right to be born you still have the right to dream and if your family's entire income is just 3 to 6 dollars a day you still have the right to dream and if you're living in a slum by the side of a busy road and people just pass by and pretend that you don't even exist you still have the right to dream this right to dream is perhaps the only thing in common between the people who create the world and those who live in it you know the ability to imagine limitlessly the ability to look beyond what is and see what can be tomorrow that's what makes us human and when dreams die i don't think we're human anymore dreams are important more important than needs or fleeting happiness because they push people up even from the bottom of the pyramid push them to realize their full potential and then some more to create value for society what they do is they hold a mirror up to our collective tomorrow and show us what it could be like if we all move forward together dreams are deeper than insights wider than needs and higher than trends dreams are a new source of meaning a new stream of collective consciousness and the best reality check ever dreaming then has been designed as a system for individual social and universal transformation we believe that dreams can be seeded dreams can be harvested by creating a system that leverages the ideas of community of creativity of thought and of creative action dreaming is a continuous exploration deep within every individual everywhere in the world and that system has been launched here in bangalore it's been prototyped it's been validated it's been accepted and it needs to grow now the way we started this entire process was that we first uh, sort of gathered up students who are in their 20s whose prime need and motivator is to meet new people have new experiences and we got sort of give them a push out of their comfort zone send them traveling 25000 kilometers across the country and coming face to face with people who they had never even dreamt of meeting they met these people and they already had a system to find out their deepest dreams their desire to create a legacy and these people they met could be anybody could be anybody of the street could be people whose dreams no one is interested in could be people whose dreams market is really interested in but here these were fresh minds who were choosing their own dreamers and making this very deep connect with them having harvested those dreams they came back with all this data that we edited put put it together subtitled it went through each and every piece of it and realized that there was something very different here there was something that moved us all the first comment that even the the dream catchers had left on facebook was i'm back but i'm not the same we moved on there from the dream and journey to the dream and conclave in the dream and conclave what we attempted to do was to give common dreamers big dreamers the same platform we spent a day all together absorbing dreams there were leaders there there were bureaucrats there there were creative thinkers there there were entrepreneurs there very different kinds of people who perhaps were for the first time uh, working together dream believe realize that's our mantra when we dream alone it's just a dream when we dream together it's reality if we can reach out to those who create our jobs our policies our enterprises our world really and wake them up if we can make dreams the measure for prosperity for progress we would have given ourselves first the right to dream and we would have given ourselves the right to realize our dreams so start dreaming and keep dreaming